Hello, everybody. This is Ken Double, president of the Atlanta chapter of the American Theater Organ Society. And as you just saw a moment ago, we are anticipating a delightful visit on Sunday, July the 16th at 3 o'clock at Stevenson High School in Stone Mountain with a wonderful young player by the name of Brett Miller, who will be coming down from the Eastman School in Rochester, New York, and his home base in eastern Pennsylvania to play our chapter program on that Sunday afternoon. And so via the magic of the internet <laughs> and a little consternation on my part personally, we are able to say hello to Brett Miller and good morning. And I hope we haven't, as people are going to see this any time of the day, but we hope we haven't uh, had to awaken you at a crazy hour of the morning to record this. Oh, no, no, no. I got my coffee and we are bright, <laughs> bright and awake. The sun's out. Everything's going just swimmingly. So Bright eyed and bushy tail. So yeah. a little background about Brett Miller. Let's first of all, uh, what a friend of mine used to call the Dun and Bradstreet. Let's talk a little bit about um, uh, where you were born, where you grew up, uh, how you got interested in music in the first place. Yeah, so I was born in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. It's about um, 45 minutes northwest of Philadelphia. So uh, still live here. That's where I'm currently at right now. Um, so I got into music actually uh, when I was around, I think it was 10, 10 or 9. Um, started on piano. Uh, my brother played and, uh, you know, just naturally I wanted to, you know, beat my brother it's out of spite as anything <laughs> um so i picked up piano and uh out of a weird you know uh just interest i saw a pipe organ um and it was because we moved to a new church and you know i kind of knew what a pipe organ was uh my family uh went to the radio city christmas show every year so uh you know i knew knew what an organ was uh i knew what a theater organ was before i knew it was a theater organ um and we moved to a new church and I saw the pipe organ and I asked our music director there if I could take lessons. Um, and at that same kind of moment, it's a bunch of stuff that came together all at once. Um, I actually saw Peter Kaczynski play Theater of the Opera at Irvine Auditorium down at University of Pennsylvania. And that's where I got hooked on the silent film, which was kind of my introduction into the theater organ at that point. So a bunch of things that all kind of came together around that age of nine and 10 that just got me into the theater organ without, you know, really knowing I was going to get into it. Um, and luckily I had a uh, friend of a friend that introduced me to Ben Modell, silent film accompanist. And I took lessons with him and he introduced me to Bernie Anderson, another silent film accompanist who kind of also went, you should learn theater organ. <laughs> um, and with that, I went to my first summer youth adventure, met, uh, you know, Jelani Eddington, Donna Parker, Jonas Nordwell, Martin Ellis, all these, you know, uh, great, great theater organists. And that's kind of where that took off. <laughs> so uh, now what's interesting is there must be something in the water in Bucks County because uh, right down the road and he played for us in June is Ben Forstoffer, the 16 year old who just kind of knocked us out. I'm kind of sorry you have to follow him, but that's all right. I know you're terrific, so you'll be just fine. But but uh, isn't it unusual that we uh, that we find two young people uh, just bowled away by the theater organ? I mean, it's really funny. He's going to the same high school as I went to. And went to the same elementary school as I went to. So, I mean, something's definitely in those pipes there, I think. I think they need, don't change them. They have something yeah. in them. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, yeah, he's only 10 minutes away from me. So, uh, you know, I, I knew Ben since he was, uh, I think the first SYA he came to was down at Stevenson. Um, and that's, you know, we went, we were on the same plane ride. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But definitely something in the waters there. But Indeed. So now you have made your way to the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York. And uh, it was interesting to find out almost immediately that you were not an organ major yeah. and that you have really expanded your musical horizons. Tell us about what you're studying and this amazing work that uh, you have found in terms of uh, orchestration and conducting and, and that side of your music. Yeah. So um, my... This is the ongoing joke is what does Brett actually do there? Um, <laughs> I'm actually a uh, music ed major um, in instrumental music education um, with my applied music being in a piano. Um, so I'm in a piano studio there. Um, but 
I kind of float around in all the different departments. The big one is we have a film and contemporary media department there um, that I'm not a student of, but I run the orchestra that they use essentially for what we call live to picture things. Um, and this is actually a very big tie into the Oregon and Silent Film Company is how I got this job is um, the board of this orchestra came to see me play at the Rochester Auditorium. Uh, which has a big four manual 23 rank Wolitzer in it. Um, and it was doing a live to picture thing on organ by myself that, you know, was like, this is great. Now can you do it with, you know, modern films that are, you know, relevant and work with film composers at the school to present their scores, but live with an orchestra doing it. Um, so, you know, if you think doing a silent film is hard with one person, at 40 <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> keeping them together i mean there's a lot of modern things that i had to learn you know how to work a click track how to you know organize an orchestra which is in itself just something really uh interesting and how to work with composers i'm you know kind of that middle ground uh, my official title is the artistic director of the empire film and media ensemble which is the group's name um so you know that could be anywhere from physically conducting the concert um, rehearsals to simply working with the school and logistics and, you know, finding rehearsal spaces. So it's very much a big administrative part, but it was because I had the experience in silent film and that's kind of how I got it just because they knew, Oh, you know how to work with a projectionist and you know how to work with a theater and you know how to work with, you know, running in a show, you know, mm -hmm. so it's really interesting. Yeah. Who'd have ever thunk it, but that is fascinating. I remember seeing a screening of a great movie, Casablanca yes. here in Atlanta and uh, the Atlanta symphony orchestra played the score live to the film. Oh yeah. And it was an absolutely astounding presentation and event uh, in my life. I will never forget yeah. how awesome, of course, it's the Atlanta Symphony, uh, but then to, to, to see the coordination and there wasn't a cue missed. No. And uh, to think that maybe one of these days, I'll see you conducting an orchestra doing that uh, at, uh, at some fabulous venue sometime. That's exciting. Yeah. Do, can you tell us a little bit, or is it a little bit too early perhaps about what you might be playing for us on the page when you arrive in July? Ooh. No, I do have some I ideas of what I'm doing. Uh, the one that I dug out was actually, um, for those theater organists out there, uh, a John Sang arrangement of Beyond the Blue Horizon. Which, oh, you know, kinda, <laughs> we know that one. Oh yeah, so that one's uh, that one I you know got the copy of. So it has some a lot of Brett Miller in it, but uh, there's one section that you just have to do, which uh, that is I think on the page with that being just such a snappy and jazzy instrument, um, it will work well on it. Uh, and I know you're incredibly busy. So in addition to coming down to play for us at Stevenson, uh, what else uh, have you got cooking? I know you're busy at the Colonial and you're busy yeah. here and you're busy at Boardwalk Hall on the Monster. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this weekend's kind of fun. So I have today at the Colonial doing a pre-show before their annual screening with Jaws, um, which is just, you know, you get to play 30 minutes of John Williams music. So I'm not complaining. Um, and then literally tomorrow I'm back at Boardwalk Hall playing for a conference they have going on there. Um, and then later, I think later this month, I'm, you know, down with all of you in Atlanta and uh, then August back at the Colonial Doom Metropolis and <laughs> the list goes on. It's keeping me busy, but I think I'm the Boardwalk Hall is keeping me the most busy. I think I'm playing there over, 20 some times and I have to do uh not have to do I'm very glad to do uh, a boat cruise uh, uh with a concert with a fabulous organist Thomas Gaynor uh in two weeks doing piano and organ duets with that organ which means mm -hmm. I'm on piano and I have a Baldwin which is luckily very <laughs> bright to be heard in that oh. room so um a lot of a lot of fun stuff cooking and uh you know I keep on joking it's keeping me busy but it's I mean I wouldn't have well, it anyway. fun it's fun yeah. busy. Yeah. yeah, very fun busy. And, yeah. uh, you know, I think I had a sub at uh, NCATOS up in Massachusetts a couple weeks ago. 
playing a film I've never done before. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that that was a, you know, learn a film in two days, see how it goes. Oh my, well, there so, you go. Well, that's all right. When you're young, you can do these things. Listen, we're really thrilled yeah. to have you coming down. Uh, we're doubly thrilled, pardon the pun, to uh, be able to provide these opportunities for young organists. And uh, you have not seen the page since the SYA. And I think you'll be stunningly uh, thrilled to be yeah. able to play uh, what has uh, become a terrific pipe organ. We look forward to your visit. And for all of you, we remind you that it is Sunday and it will be sep uh, September, July the 16th at 3 o'clock with this young gentleman, Brett Miller, at our Grand Page Pipe Organ. It is the chapter meeting of the Atlanta chapter of the American Theater Organ Society. And you are invited. And hopefully you'll be so bowled over, you'll want to join our little band of merry music lovers and uh, enjoy music at the many venues at which we have theater organs, the Strand and Marietta, the Plaza on Ponce, and occasionally, perhaps, you get into the Fox to hear Mighty Mo. And on the 16th, Brett Miller at our page organ. Thank you for visiting with us here, and we'll see you on the 16th.